Kane Isikor is probably one of the best players ever to never win a Masters 1000 event, and his luck could not have been worse, as he had one of the unluckiest moments in tennis history. We have to move to 2014, the best year in Kane Isikori's career. After a fantastic start of the year, Nishigori went to the clay season with high expectations and he did not disappoint. He played brilliant tennis as he won his first clay title in Barcelona, dominating every single opponent he faced. He got to Madrid and he was one of the favorites to take the title. His level was increasing round by round and after beating David Ferrer on the semi-finals on a brutal marathon in one of the matches of the year, he had to face the king of clay, Rafael Natal on the final. Seriously, what a match he played against Ferrer, criminally underrated match. He's done it. I mean, can you believe it? What a victory for Nishikori. He can hardly believe it. He can hardly make it to the net. But given the circumstances, Beating Ferrer in his own backyard on a clay court, given the physical condition that he's in, I think that's one of the greatest victories of his career. To make it through to a final at this level for the very first time in his career. Despite his insane level on the Spanish clay, Nishikori was the underdog for that final, as he was facing Rafa. But soon he proved his level was just too high even for Nadal. Here it is, it's the pattern that I'm talking about. Need to go in hard cross court. There it is again. So the short forehand from the dart and pushed wide to his left, and then it needs to be dealt with appropriately. Superb tennis, phenomenal stuff from Nishikori. And he draws first blood, the best possible start for Japan's finest. And he leads two games to one. What a rally, absolutely superb that. Oh, really sensible tennis. And he's hardly put a foot wrong now. It's a brilliant return of serve. Once again. What a wonderful way to wrap up the opening sets. And he won't play many better sets of tennis than that, given the circumstances. Wraps it up, six games to two in a little over half an hour. Oh, what a beautiful shot that was. It was so early. The beauty is, in doing that, you don't have to hit it hard. Brilliant, absolutely superb. Oh, it's brilliant, it's simply astonishing. 
what a game that was for Nishikori. Superb shot placement. No hesitation at all when Nishikori's got a short ball. What a return. So much for them. <laughs> <laughs> he's done that all week, he's created these amazing angles. Beautifully done. Nadal has lost a couple of times. Well, that's how you turn defence into attack. How's that? That is simply unplayable, Jason. That's what that is. First time Nadal has hit two balls in a row down the line. Nishikori was playing just perfect tennis, and the king of clay looked like he could do nothing about it. The Japanese was a set and a breakup when the tragedy happened. Uh, exactly right. This has almost become habitual. I mean, in the last three matches, it's been almost identical stage of the second set that is required a little bit of manipulation, just some deep tissue massage, lower back, top of the butt. And you know what it's like the players, Robbie? They start getting superstitious, <laughs> don't they? I've got to have the timeout, I've got to have the rub. Same routine. Yep. Yes. Superb stuff from Nadal for the first time in the match. A flurry of ferocious forehands get the job done for the Spaniard. It's a better target on that backhand down the line. He missed one long earlier in this game. Don't need the depth. Nadal's luck has finally turned. That's what the crowd have been waiting for. All of that excitement, atmosphere, everyone's kind of just chatting amongst themselves. I just don't get it. It's not right for the sport. We knew coming into the match that he might be struggling physically. Looked like he was for the first set, the set three quarters. Oh. He's done it. He's turned things around wonderfully well at the tail end of this second set. He's won 17 of the last 22 points. Of action left open to Of course he ended up retiring, this was so sad to watch, and now it's even more painful, knowing Nishikori never won a Masters 1000 title when he absolutely deserved that Madrid final. Tennis is really cruel, and this time the victim was Kei Nishikori. The Dahl leads, 3 love, third set. Oh, 
unhittable play from him. This is not the way he wants things to end. Antes que no nos merecíamos la victoria, se la merecía el otro, porque había jugado bastante mejor que nosotros en todos durante todo el tiempo. Entonces, mira, es una victoria injusta. Eh, hemos tenido mucha suerte.